Hey, how you guys doing today? It's your boy Mike Fallon. I'm here with special guest host James Lindsay. What's up, uh, One of my actor friends. Right now, we're gonna do a character bio on the newest Avenger, Black Panther. Black Panther. Uh, basically, Black Panther will be the next Avenger that you can see premiering in Captain America's Civil War. Civil War. Civil War. And so, uh, I'm gonna do like we're gonna do like a quick little character breakdown of who he is, what he can do, and give you a brief idea of what to expect when you watch the new Captain America movie. All, All right, right, so check it out. So, Black Panther made his first appearance on Fantastic Four issue number 52 in 1966. 1966, you hear me? And then also, uh, he was the first black superhero. Gotta remember that period. he was the first black superhero, period. Before Falcon, before Storm. <laughs> and uh, the title of his name, so Black Panther, he's gotta earn it because it can go to anybody in his family. So yes. they have like a competition, whoever wins that competition gets to become the Black Panther. Oh yeah, so basically when it comes to that, so uh, either, either the uncle, the uh, the son nephew uh, doesn't matter. Even sometimes a female could be the Black Panther. As Females. Seen, yeah, it has happened with it with his own sister. The Black Pantheress. Black that's, Pantheress. That's it. Is that wrong? Yeah, basically, I mean, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, we, it is called the Black Panther, but you know, because she put hands on people, bro. She be beating people up. Yeah, man. The so Black ba Panther. And so basically, a couple little other tidbits about the Black Panther is back backstory. Uh, about three thousand years ago in human time, a meteorite fell to Earth, which is what vibranium comes from. Vibranium is the is the metal found in the Marvel uni universe, which uh, Captain America Shield's made of. So when you see Black Panther in the film, he'll have a skin tight suit basically, but it's gonna have vibranium. Like they all do. They all got skin tight well, suits. Yeah, but you know. I mean, we can't bro. wear skin tight suits. So I know. The society will judge us. I know. It's whatever. It's all right. We're, Go big, ahead, we're big. We're big and beautiful. It doesn't matter. Continue. BB so so what's gonna happen is um, yeah, with the vibranium inside his suit, uh, basically he could see magic through his lenses. And so basically, his suit's just as advanced as Iron Man's, but it's more efficient in the sense of he doesn't have to have that bulky metal around his body. He no can bulky fight. bulky metal. I mean, you already, you already seen from the from the trailer, you see that he can outrun Captain America. He drop kicked Winter Soldier in the he face. He can outrun Captain America? Yeah, bro. That was, that was what happened. It was, it was in the trailer. You know us black people can run. Yeah, Don't especially when it's super powered. And then one of the other things in, in, the, in the comics is that there's a, a type of leaf that got mutated when the vibranium came to Earth. And it's like, it's in the shape of a heart. And so when you eat it, it, it basically, it's like the very first version of the superhero serum. Hmm. Superhero serum. So basically he can do everything Captain America because he's not a superhuman per se, but he's like right at the edge because mm -hmm. of that plant. So uh, stuff of that nature, uh, when it comes to the plant, gives them that type of advantage over Captain America. Nice. And so since uh, every son and father can be passed down the name of the Black Panther, his grandfather, during the time of World War II, mm -hmm. actually beat Steve Rogers in a fist fight while he was fully powered. Steve yeah. Rogers loses. Steve Rogers loses. Bang. And plus, James is going to read off what other skills he has that don't oh, yeah, even yeah, include yeah, his yeah. superhuman abilities, or well, semi-superhuman abilities. So dude is a hunter, he's a king, he's a politician, He's a scientist, a gymnast, and a martial artist. Boom. So dude know the Bruce Lee. Right? So Black Panther is, is, uh, has even been said to have been equal to Batman's level. Because during a crossover between... He got a black suit. Basically. Between, uh, there was a crossover in the 90s between Marvel and DC. Mm -hmm. And what happened was Steve Rogers and Batman fought each other and they tied. Nice. Because they said they could not beat each other. When the comics, Black Panther's grandfather mm -hmm. could beat Captain America. So... If you want to go by statistics, and since that kid we seen as canon, the Black Panther family are, are the best fighters on Earth. Nice. I'm just saying, you guys. All right, so when it comes to all his weaponry and arsenal, basically everything he has is fused with vibranium. So when it comes to the claws, the daggers, stuff of that nature. So also, his weaponry has been able to pierce Captain America's uh, shield. Yeah, bro. Oh, dude's strong. Yo, because what happened... He's strong. He is, bro. Because what happened was, in the comics, Captain America's shield was broken in another instance. Mm -hmm. And he had to go to Wakanda to have it fixed. Because since Wakanda, which is Black Panther's nation, yep. that which he's the king of, are the only blacksmiths versed in vibranium uh, uh, forgery. Wow. So, whenever you have any weapon made out of vibranium, you have to go to the Wakandas to get it fixed. I mean, if you can get past the guards. Mm -hmm. Another quick tidbit that people don't know about the Black Panther thing, uh, all, his, all his bodyguards are exclusively females. He doesn't have male bodyguards. Uh, the only time he really associates with other men when it comes to his political standing or being a king is are his, are his advisors are males. But all his, all his bodyguards are females. Sound like coming to America to me. And also, uh, with, with another fact is, he's been on multiple superhero teams as well. There we go. So the Black Panther was in the Fantastic Four. He was in the Defenders. He was an actual Avenger. He was in the Fantastic Force. 
He was in the Illuminati and he was in the Ultimates. It's yes. crazy. Nice. Uh, so when it comes to uh, different teams that he's been on, when it comes to the Illuminati, just to put a, put a little bit of a light on that, is basically the meeting of the smartest superhumans in Marvel. Uh, Professor X, Black Bolt, uh, the Black Panther, Captain America, Doctor Green, Iron Man, Medusa, Namor, Man. Hank Pym Hank, uh, as Ant-Man, so you know that, and uh, they act as intel in the Gathering Society. So uh, basically a backstory on how he became the Black Panther that we know today. Basically he grew up being raised by his father. His father is named T'Chaka, and he was killed by Claw. So if y'all don't know who Claw is, Claw is... The gentleman in Age of Ultron who Ultron cut his hand off. So now you know. So that's yeah. probably where you got the claw from then. Yeah, because what happens is, is that in the comics, instead of Ultron doing it, T'Chaka takes his arm because he's assassinated by Claw. Nice. T'Chaka didn't, didn't, uh, didn't win, obviously. And so since uh, T'Challa was the next in line, he fought and gained the name of Black Panther. Nice. Uh, his, his mother, uh, Niyami, she died in child labor. And then after that, his dad did remarry, but his wife was kidnapped. So, uh, Damn, he has the worst luck. Yeah, yeah T'Chaka is the not. Worst luck. He is not a ladies' man. So basically, that's, that's the info on, on his lineage and growing up. And so the thing about Wakanda is, is that it's the most advanced country in all of Marvel. So from the last 3,000 years, they're the most technologically advanced because when the meteorite crashed on Earth, the mm -hmm. Vibranium meteorite, mm -hmm. it also crashed in some variations with an alien ship. So all the Wakandans took that and became the most advanced country. So basically, they have the smartest doctors, smartest mathematicians, instructors, everything. So they're like the top of the line. And so, top, uh, of the line. top of the line. So that's why during slavery, the Wakandans were never brought over to America as slaves because uh, they were too ready. Yeah, because when when the when the invaders like the slavers came, they had literally uh, weaponized cannons that were mixed with alien technology mm -hmm. during the 1600s. So, oh, what's 1600? What's a, what's a rifle in the 1600s going to do against an alien cannon? For real. So basically, in like it's dangerous. People have lost their lives trying to get into Wakanda. Mm -hmm. One person just survives coming out of it was Claw, and that's about mm -hmm. it. And he yeah. lost an arm. Yeah. So, I mean, he, he's the king of the most advanced country in Marvel, one of the best fighters, arguably in comics, period, since his grandfather was able to take out Captain America, and he's the grandson of that gentleman. So, if they were to go at it, I mean, there have been comics where he, where he even put hands on the Silver Surfer, which oh, is... snap. Which is crazy. I mean, he's a beast. Yo. I mean, people, have, they had their, their views on it because they said Silver Surfer let them hit him, but yeah. still, you put hands on the Silver Surfer, you, 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 get, a, you get a Golden Star in my yeah, butt. Yeah, yeah, for real. One so, out of Silver Star. Yeah, well, stupid, <laughs> stupid, bro. I just, I just caught that right now. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's some just background on the Black Panther, what to expect when you see him in the next upcoming Captain America Civil War movie. So, my name is Mike Fallon. I'm here with James Lindsay. He's an actor. You can call me Jay. Call him Jay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so be on the lookout for our, for our other uh, character bios. It's the first one we ever did, and I think it went pretty well. It went real good. All right, so we'll right be, now. We'll be doing it again. Oh, yeah. Right now, I'm going to put uh, James' uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram panhandle, so you guys can follow him, see what he's up to with his ventures. Check me out. This Snapchat. is my panhandle, everything. Okay, I'll put the Snapchat there, too. Uh, this is all my uh, social network information. I'd appreciate the follow, support, like, and share. And if you want to see more characters uh, with bios talked about on my channel, uh, just leave a comment on who you want to see me talk about next. And me and James can get back together. I might get other co-hosts as well. And we'll do character bios for you guys, all right? There you go. Hey, Take one, care. One, 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 come here, buddy. Come here, all right, Jay. Come on, Jay. Come on, get come in here. Jay. If y'all was wondering why I keep looking off to the side, because I had to right, try to watch bring this little guy. This is my son. Oh, yeah. He's ugly, right? Are you ugly? Ah. Oh. At least you got self-esteem. <laughs> he's he's a uh, comp, he's a combo geek in training. Thanks thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you guys subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.